With Boston College losing in the national championship game is now the perfect time for Ryan Leonard to join the Capitals and the Capitals call up a tough guy from Hershey. Let's talk about it next on this edition of Locked on Capitals. Your Locked on Capitals, your daily podcast on the Washington Capitals. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Well, hello and uh, welcome into this edition of Locked On Capitals. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. As always, this podcast is free and available on all the major platforms, including the SiriusXM app and on YouTube. And I want to thank you for making this your first listen each and every day. My name is Dan Holmey. You can find me on Twitter. It's at DanCaps218. You can find the show on Twitter. It's at Locked On Caps. And the best way that you can help grow the show is to subscribe to Locked On Capitals on YouTube and comment anything down below. I would love to talk Capitals hockey with you one on one, and we can do that on subtext. Just check the show description for more details. Today's episode is brought to you by Sleeper. Download the Sleeper app and use promo code Locked On NHL to get up to a $100 match on your first deposit. Terms and conditions apply. See Sleeper's terms of use for more details. So in this edition of Locked On Capitals, we talk about how the Capitals are making their push for the playoffs. How much better would this Capitals team be with a player like Ryan Leonard on the roster? We'll talk about that a little bit later. We will talk about that with Jensen out, the Capitals call up Dylan McElrath from the Hershey Bears, giving the Capitals a bit of edge and grit. We'll talk about that. And then a little bit later, we will talk about the big evening for John Carlson. But just to get it going here, uh, it's a good situation for the Capitals potentially to be in uh, with Ryan Leonard, uh, with the Boston College losing in the national playoff game, that this could potentially be the perfect opportunity to get a good look at Leonard in a Capitals sweater to see how he can perform at the highest level. We saw how great he played for Boston College. Could any of that translate into the National Hockey League? That is an exciting thing for me to think about, but it is a big thing. Boston College Eliminated is now the perfect time to see him in a Capitals or Bears jersey. The Boston College Eagles were shut out two to nothing by the Denver Pioneers in the 2024 National Championship game. Uh, all things considered, that was was a really good Eagles team this year for Boston College, and it was led primarily by the goal scoring of Ryan Leonard. And it's exciting because one of the things that the Capitals have struggled with this season is goal scoring. They've had it from players here and there, but they don't have a dynamic goal scorer that can score on a night in and night out basis. We've seen it, Alex Ovechkin, after the All Star break, crank it up. We've seen it from Dylan Strom. But what I'm talking about is a team that is like the Maple Leafs or the Edmonton Oilers, where they have multi dimensional goal scorers that can score up and down the lineup. How much better would the Capitals be with Leonard on this roster? It could stand to be huge. If the Caps make it to the playoffs, I say absolutely yes. Um, I think that that would be a great thing. And just taking a look at what he tried to do, Ryan Leonard tried to push the Eagles into victory lane. Uh, Leonard did what he could do by firing eight shots, but it wasn't enough to help the Eagles to victory lane. So you can kind of put that to the back burner. We know that Boston College season is done, that the ball is really now in Ryan Leonard's court. Uh, one of the things that Brian McClellan had spoke about was that he is not going to rush him. But when he was asked, when does he think that Ryan Leonard would be ready to turn pro, he said that he thought that was the case when he saw him in camp last fall. So I think that all Leonard would have to do is sign off and say, I want to go pro. And I think the sky would be the limit for him. Now there is the potential or the possibility that he could play on the Capitals if they make it to the playoffs. But even if the Capitals don't make it to the playoffs, he could sign an amateur tryout agreement with the Hershey Bears and help the Bears in their pursuit. But one of the things I'm going to go ahead and say here for sure is I think that Leonard uh, is beyond playing the NCAA game. I think that he did 
a fine job playing for the Eagles, but I think that his raw potential, his hockey potential is there. Now it would be a different thing if he said, you know, I want to finish out my college years and get a degree in whatever he's going to school for. That would be something altogether different, but I imagine he is going to be a career hockey player and that is going to be his career. Uh, but I don't want to speak for him. He is a young man and uh, he probably has his own ideas, but the, the temptation of going pro and making those big bucks, that has to be something that's hard to turn down. Uh, so can Brian McClellan be persuasive? I know that he said that he wasn't going to push him, but he might want to pick up the phone and talk to him uh, or Spencer Carberry and say, hey, have you given it any more thought? We could really stand to see you on, on the Capitals. Uh, there is, like I said, always the option. He could join the Bears in their chase for the Calder Cup. Brian McClellan, Brian McClellan had said that he thought he was ready to, for him to join the team right now. So if that's the case, if Ryan Leonard says, let's go, then let's go. Uh, Leonard broke a Boston College record by scoring 31 times in 40 games and recorded 60 points. Uh, that was quite something, breaking a record by Boston College 31 times, 40, 40 games, and recorded 60 points. Uh, I think that he is exactly what the Capitals are looking for. Uh, but is that what Ryan Leonard is looking for? Uh, now that he can put this hockey season in the rearview mirror, uh, does he want to concentrate his efforts on going pro and really seeing how far it can take him? I'm going to go ahead and say that it would be a game changer for the Capitals if they could add him to this team. Now, I understand that there is quite a disparity between the NCAA and the National Hockey League, but oftentimes we've seen these guys accelerate quickly. I mean, if you take a look at Connor Bedard, I mean, he jumped out of the frying pan and into the fire and see how well he did this last season. Uh, I, can you imagine how much better Connor Bedard will be in years to come that I almost start to have those thoughts uh, about Ryan Leonard as well. Now I understand it's not an apples for apples comparison as far as Bedard and Leonard is concerned, but I really do think uh, that the Capitals have It could potentially be a big thing for him on this team. And uh, hopefully we can ultimately get a look, like I said, at him uh, on the big stage uh, to see if he can live up to the billing uh, that many had had him pegged for. Uh, so an exciting thing for the Capitals if he, in fact, decided to join the team. Now, there is a lot of question marks, of course, as if the Capitals can on, make it to the playoffs. That That is a big question because they have two games left. And if they want to cement their way uh, into the playoffs, they really have to do their level best to take down the Bruins, which is not going to be an easy out. And they're going to have to do it by taking down the Flyers. That is not going to be easier either. So it's going to be tough. I think the Capitals can do it. Uh, we've seen them answer the bell on the biggest stages at different points of the season. Uh, if you want to take a look at, you know, them taking down the Bruins or the Canucks or when they beat the Lightning, uh, I do think that the potential is there. And I think if this team is really motivated, like they were motivated the other night uh, when Jensen got injured, that they were really engaged in playing a heavy physical game, then I think absolutely the Capitals could do it. And I think that uh, in large part, Ryan Leonard will make his decision, at least in part, based on that. Could he join the Capitals right now and really help this team in their push? I think that would be doing a solid uh, to the team that drafted him. Or, uh, he, like I say, he could always join the Bears and help their push in the Calder Cup. I know that would be appreciated in Hershey as well, uh, as I think the Hershey Bears are are on the cusp of doing great things and winning another Calder Cup there. I don't want to get ahead of myself and say that will be the case, but I think it is at least a possibility. But it's a lot to consider for Leonard, who's only 19 years old. And, you know, he has said that hockey will be waiting for me. He said the NHL will be waiting for me. So is that his way of saying I'm not going to rush it? That uh, I understand Capitals fans. I understand that the GM of the team, they want to see me right now. But is that ultimately what I want? Uh, it is a big question for Leonard to answer, but as far as Brian McClellan is concerned, as far as Spencer Carberry is concerned, I think that all that he would have to do is sign off and say, hey, I'm ready to go, put me in a game, and I think that that could be an absolute game changer for the Capitals. All right, so coming up here straight ahead with Nick Jensen out being injured 
The Capitals called up a tough guy in Dylan McElrath, the captain of the Hershey Bears. What could he potentially mean for the Capitals at this pivotal point of the season? I'll discuss coming up. Passion, drive, and patience. The formula for winning championships is also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. Superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED lights, and more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has got you covered. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed to Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time time or your money back because with ebay motors you're burning rubber not cash with all the parts you need at the prices you want it's easy to turn your car into the mvp and bring home huge wins keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com eligible items only exclusions apply ebay guaranteed fit only available to u.s customers it's locked on's nfl mock draft live on April 17th at 7 p.m. Eastern, streaming on the Locked On Sports Today 24-7 streaming channel on YouTube or the free Amazon Fire TV channels app, find the ultimate six-episode series on April 17th at 7 p.m. Eastern to hear our local experts on Locked On picking for every NFL franchise. With live reactions from local college football experts and even the fantasy football angle, the Locked On NFL mock draft on April 17th at 7 p.m. Eastern. Streaming live on Locked On Sports Today 24-7 streaming channel or the YouTube and free Amazon Fire TV channels app. All right, welcome back into this edition of Locked On Capitals, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. So it was an unfortunate event uh, that Nick Jensen got injured when Isimov smashed him into the boards and uh, subsequently, he left the game towards the tail end of the first period. He did not return. And uh, Spencer Codbury did, in fact, say that he would not be playing the final games of the season. So what the Capitals did is they called up the captain of the Hershey Bears, Dylan McElrath, a guy with a physical flair. And I think that this is the perfect thing for the Capitals right now. I am a big believer that the Capitals play that much better when they're a physical team. You saw that evident in the game against the Lightning. I've seen that historically. For whatever reason this season, unless something earth-shaking happens that really irritates the Capitals, that doesn't bring out the physicality. Look at how much better Nick Dowd played when he was irritated uh, because his friend got injured in a game. Look at Tom Wilson. Look at how this team can do really great things when they're motivated. Uh, so I think that if you have a player that has a physical flair, uh, kind of like a Tom Wilson-esque type player that has a physicality to him, uh, I think that could be huge. Now, I'm not going to say that they should do things like, you know, get into stupid penalties or spend a lot of time in the penalty box, but, you know, finish your checks, uh, do those kind of things. And I think that could be huge for the Capitals to really up their physical game. I think that it could be uh, an absolute game changer. The Caps have called up a defenseman, Dylan McElrath, with Jensen uh, being injured Saturday night versus the Lightning. I like this move a lot because of the physical game that Dylan has, along with being a great defenseman. Uh, the blue line is pretty banged up. We've seen Vincent Iorio uh, called up. We see Lucas Johansson, Alex Alexiev, younger guys on the team. Uh, that have seen some action. I guess Lucas Johansson hasn't here recently, uh, but he is another player that was called up. So uh, it is the next man up, always has been the next man up. So the Capitals have a void and the Hershey Bears have some great talent. And I think that uh, it's kind of an exciting thing for me to see Dylan and what he will bring to this team. I like the move a lot because of the physical game Dylan brings a with he, he, the fact that he's a great defenseman. He has three goals and six assists for nine points in 58 games this season, along with 100 penalty minutes. Uh, so that is the intimidator uh, that they need. A lot, I mean, Tom Wilson can't do it all. And the fact that they are playing the Boston Bruins coming up, a physical team, 
I think that that could be the makings of a perfect storm. And then you take a look at the Capitals playing the Flyers. Uh, that is a team with uh, John Tortorella pushing the buttons and pulling the strings that is definitely going to be bringing their A game as well. Uh, I think that uh, having a guy with that physical flair could be huge. McElrath was selected as the Eastern Conference playing captain and represented the Bears at the 2024 AHL, AHL All-Star Game in San Jose in early February. He followed that up by skating in his 600th American Hockey League game on February 17th at Toronto. So he's not this young, unimproved, unproven commodity. Uh, he has been there. He has done that. And I think the fact that he's a veteran, I think that he has a lot of miles on his hockey odometer playing professional hockey. I think that this could be huge, uh, and I'm excited to see what he will bring. Dylan will wear number 52 for the Caps. In the one game he played on the big team, he got in a fight versus the Golden Knights earlier in the season. For the Bears this season, he's three goals and six assists for nine points in 58 games this season, along with 100 penalty minutes. Uh, this is his second season as the Bears captain. And uh, generally speaking, they don't give the captain seat to just anyone. So definitely he has some leadership qualities um, and, you know, qualities that speak for themselves. I, I don't think that the Bears just gave him the C for no reason. So they are truly calling up a quality player. I do believe it. But as far as the update for Jensen is, Jensen is concerned, uh, I know that it looked bad. I know that it was bad. But the fact that he was able to leave with his family and didn't have to have an extended hospital hospital stay, the fact that, you know, worst case scenario, he wasn't paralyzed from something like that. Uh, that is really good. Head coach Spencer Carberry confirmed to reporters that Jensen will not play in the last two games due to the injury. So good enough to leave under his own power, but let's not rush things. Uh, there are things that are more important than hockey, of course, and that is Jensen being totally healthy and ready to go just for his day-to-day -day life and to help the Capitals if they make it to the playoffs or for next season that he will be a full go. It's good that the Capitals have the needed depth uh, on the team, whether it's players that are scratched or calling up players from Hershey, that hopefully uh, it is more of a plug-and-play situation. Uh, that is our hope. That is for sure. He was at MedStar on Sunday to say hello to his teammates. So today, uh, the fact that he was able to show up and kind of talk to his fellow teammates and say, hey, guys, I'm OK. Uh, I know it looked bad. And the fact that it appeared that he was unconscious on the ice, he wasn't moving, his eyes were closed. It was a scary moment. Uh, so to go from that to being able to show up at MedStar and greet his teammates and telling them all that he was okay, that was a huge thing. If you say the game uh, was a big thing, uh, in uh, taking a look at it, the Michael Isimont hit was a tough thing. That is uh, ultimately you know, what kind of set the fire underneath the Capitals. Um, it was an unfortunate thing, but that big hit that uh, Isimont laid out was what got the Capitals going. Uh, like I said, he was motionless for a few minutes, but later uh, he was alert uh, and had he was able to use his extremities. He walked out of Capital One Arena uh, with his family under his own power and did not go to the hospital. Uh, so huge thing for, for Jensen and the Capitals, a bit of a sigh of relief if you're asking me that it did look pretty bad. It looked like that, you know, this could be really bad for him and he could potentially miss a lot of times. As we know, those head injuries, those neck injuries, those are nothing to mess with. Uh, so given the fact that it looked quite severe and given the fact that it looked like he was in fact unconscious, the fact that he was able to leave under his own power with his family is a sigh of relief uh, to a situation that looked really bad. Uh, but the Capitals, as far as they're concerned, they need to really harness what they learned in the game against the Lightning and really, you know, let it loose uh, when they play against the Bruins. There is so much at stake. Uh, if, uh, if there was ever a time to play a complete 60-minute game, the game against the Bruins and the Flyers, now is the time. Bring your A game. Uh, if there's ever a time to bring out your, you know, playoff hockey extra gear, 
that is the night or the two nights coming up ahead. So hopefully the Capitals can do it. They've come quite a long way in a bumpy up and down season. Uh, we've seen here lately with players getting injured with Sandine and Jensen uh, that it's next man up and the Capitals are really going to have to dig deep and hopefully pick up a big win. All right. So coming up here straight ahead, we will talk about the big night for John Carlson breaking records as a blue liner for the Capitals. Let's discuss coming up. Regardless of where we are in the current standings, I want to remind you that you could win big by playing Daily Fantasy Hockey on Sleeper, the official Daily Fantasy app of the Locked On NHL Network. Sleeper is our number one choice for Daily Fantasy sports and especially Daily Fantasy hockey because with Sleeper, you can win 100 times your cash in Daily Fantasy hockey contests. Now, let me tell you something, guys. I was not the guy that was that big into fantasy sports, but then I found Sleeper. And let me tell you something. I love it. To win a 100 times bet on Sleeper, you need to correctly predict the outcome of eight player stats. You heard me, Capitals fans. You can win 100 times your money playing daily fantasy hockey with Sleeper. So start paying attention and nail your picks so you can start winning big. Use promo code LOCKEDONNHL and you'll get up to a $100 match on your first deposit. Terms and conditions apply. That's code locked on NHL. See Sleeper's terms of use for details and locational availability. All right, welcome back into this edition of Locked On Capitals, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. So, John Carlson, a blue liner on this team, we know what he means. One of the best to ever do it. And one of the players that I have said is one of the untouchables. There's still three untouchables on this team. If you ask me, of course, it's Alex Ovechkin, Tom Wilson, and John Carlson. You could argue about a potential fourth player, but for me, those are the three for sure, for sure. And John Carlson is a guy that holds it down each and every night that there's a game. And you know, one of the things of it is, is I think that to a certain extent, us Capitals fans take for granted what he means to this team. He is a guy that routinely logs in around 30 minutes in each and every game. Now, for some players, that would be the high water mark of their career. He does that on the regular. Around 30 minutes in a game, that is logging heavy minutes. And it's not that they're just putting him out here because that's the only player that there is. It's quality minutes. He's sound defensively and also can score goals. And that is what we will talk about here uh, in this segment here is the big night for John Carlson with all of his goals that he's scoring. John Carlson plays a huge role for the Capitals. We all not know that, but with his goal Saturday night, he became the Capitals franchise leader in goals scored by a defenseman. Uh, quite a record. Uh, there have been some great defensemen, blue liners that have played for the Capitals throughout the years. So for John Carlson to cement his name as one of the best to do it, that is quite something. John Carlson's GWG was a huge moment for him and the Capitals, but was overshadowed by the Jansen injury. Uh, it is unfortunate. I remember that when John Carlson got injured uh, against Winnipeg, that you know overshadowed a great evening by Alex Ovechkin as well. Unfortunate, but John Carlson being clutch the way that he always is. The goal was also significant because it pushed the Caps back into the playoff picture. Uh, there were times in the game that uh, the Lightning had quite a bit of pushback, and Vasilevsky is one of the best to do it, uh, and definitely the best netminder for the Lightning, of course, that uh, he was a brick wall, but historically, the Capitals have had Vasilevsky's number and the Lightning's number, so despite the fact of their long, illustrious career of uh, you know making it to the playoffs and, and winning Stanley Cups, the Capitals, in fact, can answer the bell on the biggest stage. Uh, but just this was from Capitals PR as well. John Carlson scores his ninth goal of the season on the power play. That gave the Capitals a 3-2 lead and marks Carlson's 150th career goal, moving him past Kevin Hatcher for the most goals by a defenseman. But John Carlson, eating humble pie, he said, yeah, that's cool. I'm just worried about battling to the playoffs. It's cool to have the record too and all, but you know, just excited for the team here. 
And it's difficult. I mean, oftentimes, if someone hands you out a, a compliment that you know it's a huge thing, John Carlson understands the gravity of the situation. But, you know, what are you supposed to say in that situation? Yeah, I guess I am pretty cool, ain't I? Uh, that the only real option to take is the humble one. But John Carlson, a tip of the hat to one of the best to ever do it. I'm happy to say that the Capitals have you on the team. Uh, this from Capitals PR as well. Carlson is now the franchise leader in games played, 1,007, uh, 150 assists, uh, 523 points, uh, 673 game-winning goals, and 31 power play points, 249. Uh, so quite a big uh, thing for uh, for John Carlson. 1,007 games played, that's quite a bit, 150 goals, 523 assists, 673 points, quite a, an accomplishment for the guy. I mean, the, the stats just keep rolling off one after the other, after the other, but just a workhorse for the Capitals, getting it done on a night in and night out basis. Carlson was also a minute monster playing 27, 25 in something that is norm for him, but not for your average player. Um, again, I think that to a certain extent, us as Capitals fans, we take for granted what he brings to this team, that he continues to knock it out of the park on a night in and night out basis, that the Capitals always play so much better with Carlson in the mix. Uh, he has a, a long history. He is one of the guys that Mitch Love said almost serves as a coach for him, like an assistant defensive coach, if you will. Um, and that because, you know, the, the history speaks for itself. I think that a lot of the young players look up to him. I think that a lot of the veterans on the team look up to him because he's a likable guy and his reputation speaks for itself. I mean, I just rattled off a long list of his top tier stats that most players would only dream of. That is why he has the reputation and why he has the ear of his teammates. People have seen him through the battle. He answers the bell on the biggest stage. That is why we love Carly on this team. We hope he can stay healthy as this Capitals team continues to make its push for the unthinkable, the playoffs. All right, once again, I want to thank you for joining me on this edition of Locked On Capitals, your only daily year-round podcast covering the Washington Capitals. And I want to thank all of you that listen on the audio side and watch this on YouTube you are ultimately what makes this show successful. When you're done here, head on over to Locked On's 24-7 streaming channel, available on the free Amazon Fire TV channels app and on YouTube. All right, once again, I want to thank you for joining me on this edition of Locked On Capitals, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. My name is Dan Holmey, and I'll talk to you again next time.